the icbi the nippon foundation mathematics package for uh, teachers title of the video uh, trigonometry uh, some general concepts uh, trigonometry trigonometry now trigonometry means trigon and metra you know it has uh, evolved from the greek uh, words trigon means uh, triangle metra means measurement that means we are dealing with a triangle when we deal with a triangle there are three sides there are three angles so trigonometry is nothing but uh, the relationship between the three sides of the triangle and the angles involved with that this is basically trigonometry now in trigonometry though trigon says that we are dealing with uh, a triangle which has three sides the special triangle which is of significance for trigonometry is the right angle triangle in right angle triangle one of the angles of the triangle should be 90 degrees so we have uh, uh, special names uh, for the sides uh, the base is what you call adjacent and uh, the side which is opposite uh, to the 90 degrees the right angle is uh, hypotenuse then the other side of adjacent uh, which is meeting uh, at the right angle this is what you call opposite so we are dealing with adjacent opposite and hypotenuse trigonometry is an integral part of life when you say uh, height of the building when you say find out the height of the tree so when we look up uh, when we look down all are involving trigonometry engineering uh, oceanography uh, space uh, research you call any branch of science uh, trigonometry is an integral part of it now let us discuss some basic uh, concepts now when you say look straight in the day-to-day -day life we are using this terminology look straight what is looking straight uh, that means we are looking something ahead of us uh, on an imaginary line so when you look up uh, there is an elevation involved when you look down there is an angle involved so there are three situations one is looking straight so we call this as line of sight line of sight that means we are looking straight we are assuming that it is zero degree now when you look up there is an angle involved so we call this as angle of elevation angle of elevation because we are looking up you know the our direction is elevated now when you look down for example when from our position when we look down there is an angle involved we call that as angle of depression angle of depression now these are some general concepts that we will be using in trigonometry so line of sight which is the straight line angle of elevation that is uh, at an elevated position that means you are looking up uh, when you look down we call that as angle of depression let us see how the angle of elevation also changes now let us assume that uh, we have to see a building now suppose we are asked to find out the height of the building now how can we measure the height of the building now let us assume that uh, uh, this is the building now we are standing 
at the base well at a distance from the building now when uh, you look at the building right there is an elevation right so what happens you know the actual height of the building the place where you are standing from the building and then the angle in which you are looking at the top of the building now suppose I come closer to the building so what happens you know the angle of elevation becomes more now in the earlier situation the angle of elevation is less now in this case the angle of elevation is more so if we look at uh, the distance from the building where you are standing and then you when you look at uh, the elevation when you know the angle of elevation then it may be possible for you to judge uh, the height of the building uh, even without measurement because every angle in trigonometry you know when you say 30 degrees and uh, 40 degrees and uh, 60 degrees 55 degrees whatever it is uh, well in connection with the the adjacent uh, hypotenuse and uh, the opposite uh, we have uh, ratios so when we know the ratio the trigonometric ratio and uh, information about the sides we will be able to find out the unknown value